Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use stamps to stamp your clay to make personalised little name plaques and sort of things like that. The clay that I use is the Necron brand. I get mine from Necron Australia. I will link it all in the description below. And I use two parts soft mixed with one part traditional and that gives the perfect consistency of air dry clay. So I've already mixed my clay here and I have this little pot on hand so I can just cover it whilst I'm not using it and that will just prevent it from drying out. I'm going to take a little bit of the clay and I'm going to roll this out. So taking a little piece of my clay, always keep your surfaces clean when you're working with clay because you don't want to get any lint or dust in your clay. So I just use fragrance free baby wipes or just a lint free cloth and to keep my area nice and clean and dust free. I'm going to take my clay and I'm going to colour this now using pigments. To colour your clay you can use mica powder pigments, you could use acrylic paint although acrylic paint will make your clay dry out quicker so if you're going to store it coloured I don't recommend using the acrylic paint to colour your clay until you need it. You can use pigments that are made for clay, such as this Necron pigment here in a nice pale pink colour, which is what I'm now going to use. And these are highly concentrated pigments. You only need a small amount to colour your clay and this doesn't dry out. So you can colour your clay and then pop it into some cling film in an airtight container and it won't dry out so quickly as it would with paint. So I'm just dipping a toothpick into my pigment and popping it onto my clay. Now it depends how deep you want the colour. A little bit like this will make a nice pale pink, which is what I want. But the more colour you add, the more it will get to look like the colour of the pot. So I'm just going to now mix this into my clay. So as you can see, I've now got this nice subtle baby pink colour. If I added more, I could make it more like the pink in the pot, but this is the colour I wanted, a nice pale pink. So now I've mixed all the colour in, I'm going to roll this out. Again, I'm just going to give my surface a wipe to make sure there's no dust. And then I've got this acrylic rolling pin. Again, I've given this a wipe, made sure that there's no dust or anything on there. I use a little bit of coconut oil on my acrylic roller and I'm just going to take a little bit of the coconut oil, rub it on my hands and along my acrylic rolling pin and this will just stop the clay from sticking to the pin as I'm rolling it out. So taking my acrylic rolling pin I'm going to start rolling out my clay. You want it around two to three millimetres in thickness. You don't want it too thin or too thick. So about this thickness here like that. This is the letter stamp that I use. So this is the bar which you slide the letters onto and the letters look like this and you just slide them on. Obviously you have to pop them on here backwards because when it comes to stamping it will mirror. So I'm going to pick out my name. So I'm going to do my daughter's name, which is Myla. So obviously it goes M-Y-L-A, but we have to put it on this bar backwards. So I'm going to put the A on at the start. So I'm sliding it in from the right. You can slide it in from the left. It don't really make much difference. So there's my A. And I'm going to do the L next. I'm just filing it down because where I've broken it off, when it comes in the post, it's attached to like a grid. And you have to break the little letters off and they don't slide on here very well if you haven't taken them apart properly. So just use an owl file if needed to get those little tab pieces off. Now we need the Y. And 
and then the M. So I'm making sure now that it looks all nice and straight and even, like that. And as you can see, it is on there backwards, A-L-Y-M, which when I flip it over to stamp, it will be the correct way. So I'm going to now stamp this onto my clay. Now you can stamp it onto your clay and then add some mica powder to color it, or you can add your mica powder to your letters and then stamp it. I will show you both ways. So just using this little lid here, I'm gonna pop on some of this blue mica powder. And then I'm going to add this to my letters. Now you can paint them on using a brush if you want, but I'm just dipping mine into the mica powder. Now, if I look at this, I can see that some areas have got bigger clumps on than others. So I'm just going to use a brush and just dab it a little bit, just so the powder is evenly spread. Give it another tap to remove any loose pieces of the mica powder. And then I'm going to stamp it onto my clay. Making sure I hold it with an even pressure on both sides. I'm going to push it into the clay, not all the way down to the bar, just a little way, because I don't want it to go all the way through. And then gently remove it. And then as you can see, that has stamped on there with the blue mica powder in those letters. Now it's not so strong of a color doing it this way. So what I would then do, just taking a very fine brush and then painting it in yourself after you've stamped it. Don't worry about any mess. You need a fine brush to get into those little, little spaces. And as you can see, I'm getting a nice deeper colour doing it this way because I can load it in there. And I'm also getting it up the sides as well. I'm just going to set that aside. And then what you can do after that is take in a clean baby wipe and gently wipe over. And because it's sitting inside the letters, the blue powder inside the letters will stay in there. And I'm just removing off any excess that has gone over the edges. So now it looks like that. And this mica powder, you can't quite see in this light, that has got a metallic finish on there. So it gives a lovely finish. And then you can then cut out your name with whatever shape you want it to be. If you're making a name plaque or a tag, you can just use any sort of cut and shape. I have got various different cutters. I've got these ones which stamp out. I've got these ones, which are sort of a label shape. I've got heart shapes. I've got all sorts of shapes in here. So yeah, I'm gonna do a heart today. So taking this heart shape cutter, again, you can add some coconut oil around the edges, but I'm going to just use mine straight on my clay. So I've just lined that up evenly with my name in the middle. And then I'm going to push down. And then I'm just going to gently push from the inside using the flat part of my finger. I don't want my nails to dig in there. Just to loosen it up. So I can get that out. 
and then you can just use your fingers or a tool if you've got a tool and just go around the edges to smooth that out. I'm going to finish decorating my little name plaque now using this flower mold and some white clay and some pigments. I used some white PVA glue to attach my flowers to my clay. Unfortunately, I didn't record it, but it's easy enough to do. So this is a cheap white PVA glue, and I used this old cuticle oil pot with a brush to add my PVA glue into, and it just makes it easier to apply it to my little pieces and glue them together. So yeah, just a white cheap PVA glue works really well with clay. And now I've got these little bow moulds here. I think I'm going to go for this little one with the tails down and I'm going to add a little bow in the corner. So taking a small piece of white clay, I'm going to use my pink pigment powder this time to colour my clay so it matches the flower. So I'm just flattening out this piece of clay and add in some of the hot pink pigment powder on there. This can be messy. So we're going to go for this bottom bow here. Again, adding my coconut oil to condition my mold and prevent my clay from sticking. I'm also going to brush into my mold some of the pink pigment, and this will just give it that extra shimmer. going to give my mould a wipe over and again taking my PVA glue we're going to attach our bow So now I've got to this stage, I could leave it like this, but I feel it need a little bit more. I should have done this earlier if I'd have thought about it, but hey ho, I'm experimenting today. So I'm going to take out one of these dotting tools. Again, everything that I use is going to be linked in the description below this video. And I'm going to make little indentations all the way around the edge of the heart. And this will just give it a little bit of texture and a little bit more interest around this edge. And I think that has finished that off beautifully. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today on how you can stamp clays and you can make name plaques, key rings, anything you like using this method. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. I'll be back again soon.